It has been 10 years since Vancouver's Christmas market opened. That is a full decade of festive vendors, entertainers, and of course, the merry-go-round. Well, Denise Wagner is the president of the Vancouver Christmas market. Denise, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Busy time of year, so thank yes. you for taking time oh, for absolutely. us, Thanks for, for sure. Me. So for someone who has never been to the Christmas yeah. market, and let me just say, we miss that it's no longer across from our studios on the Queen Elizabeth <laughs> Plaza. It's on Jackpool Plaza yeah. now, but just describe what, what people can expect. Yeah, it's a uh, German style Christmas market. So basically what you will find is a variety of different food and beverage vendors, merchandise vendors. We have a few attractions on the market, including a carousel, a light tunnel, lots of different photo opportunities, uh, live entertainment on our flying stage, um, Alpine Lounge. We've got the amazing views of the North Shore Mountains right behind us. So we've got a really nice platform so you can take all of that in. And yeah, it all goes back to, to Europe where it started quite a few quite a few decades ago <laughs> it does feel very european yes. there's no doubt about it but i mean 10 years i guess how do you how do you keep it fresh how how, how have things changed yeah um so you just mentioned it i mean we moved to a new location four years ago uh to jack Pope plaza we realized that we've really outgrown the queen elizabeth theater it was a great venue to start with um we had so many interesting vendors that we wanted to bring in from all over the world including europe and the appetite in vancouver was there so we decided to move to jack Pope plaza uh, that was the first step that we did to mm -hmm. keep it fresh. Um, adding additional new vendors was a big aspect as well, and attractions on the market, including our Lovers Lane Tunnel, for example. Lovers Lane? What, Lovers ha what Lane. happens in there? Or a, we can't talk about that. <laughs> it's a 40, we actually have proposal on Lovers Lane, which oh. was pretty amazing. It's a 40-foot light tunnel with 20,000 lights, and there's a mistletoe inside. I yeah. see. Yeah. Everything's set up for a yes. little bit of romance. Yeah. I've got it. Well, you mentioned sort of bringing in new vendors Correct. all of the time. So what have you brought in for us today? Yeah, we have uh, multiple different sustainable, eco-friendly vendors on the market. We brought in... Um, eco-friendly really is the term of the decade, isn't it? It okay. is. It is. We actually have a whole alley on the market this year that brought in sustainable, eco-friendly products, including uh, Theon Alley over here. Um, they look, look focus on it's toddler adorable. products. 10% of their proceeds actually go to the... Uh, Elephant Rescue Fund. They're all made locally uh, right here in Fraser Valley. Um, and it's so soft. That is gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> They're amazing. And, and then we have Miss Green right over here uh, with reusable pouches and all different kinds of designs. And it's waterproof on the inside, so you can put all of your okay. snacks in there. That's not this one. And beeswax. No. They're b both. Um, is actually Miss Green. Um, so you can keep your lunch fresh. Uh, you can reuse so all let's, of those let's products. Let's just uh, show what, what you mean here. Yeah. Because this is, this is not, this is actually a piece of beeswax that you put yes. over top as a container. Correct. So it feels, it feels soft and pliable. Yep. Yep. And what, what do you do once you uncover it? You could just wash it up again? Yeah, you wash it up with uh, soap and water and you can reuse it again. Yeah, that's great. I mean, those are that's a and fantastic idea. They smell idea. amazing. And they smell they do. really good. It smells like honey. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. does smell it a little does. bit like honey. I like that. And what about over here? Some some hygiene products, some yes. self care right? grooming things. products. Yeah, yep. correct. From Life Unpacked. Um, so again, the eco friendly, sustainable um, product aspect is huge for these guys. Um, they actually offer a subscription as well, so you never have to worry about purchasing these items. Again, they deliver it. So they have bamboo toothbrushes in different sizes so and toothpaste. Okay, look at this. This is the toothpaste. Look at this. Yeah. So it. it it is not your conventional toothpaste, it's no, powder. It's so powder. you would put the put toothbrush... Put it in there, yeah, dry as it is, yeah. and then you put it in your mouth and it's actually the saliva that activates the toothpaste. Okay, but this is a, uh, a glass, glass container. container. Yes. So if we don't want to have more containers in our lives, what, what happens with They fill with it, it up for you. So that's part of the uh, subscription aspect, where they always make sure that you're stocked up on all of your grooming products. I see. So new toothpaste. I never thought about that. Yeah. We, when you think yeah. about throwing out toothpaste containers, those must really it's add up and they don't yes, break they do. down yeah. either. And uh, what about this little thing? It's this floss. Is... So typical floss is actually plastic as well. So all of that adds up and it's not sustainable. So these guys have actually come up with a sustainable product acts exactly the same way as, as floss, but it's not plastic. So biodegradable, it just disappears. Guilt-free grooming. Exactly. <laughs> that all comes, well, there's a demand for these kinds of Absolutely. things now, isn't there? Absolutely, I know people yes. are just trying to reduce um, all the way around. Yeah. Uh, a lot of talk about banning straws. Yes. And you brought in some options for straws. What, this was a big topic, big topic for these guys. It's actually two brothers, uh, local here as well from Canada, and they've brought a couple, many, many different designs. These so are thick ones. This will be for the bubble tea? Yes, that, these ones are. I think for bubble tea here, okay. but these will probably be fine as well. So they have rubber, they have uh, telescoping ones in here, so you can actually transport it. Um, bamboo. So this, this, this one. is the telescoping so one, this. yes. 
This well, this is the what, cleaner. Well, that that's you the can clean. Take outside. I was going to ask because you do want to make sure they're <laughs> exactly. going to be hygienic, right? So this so. is the telescoping cleaner, so you can it goes like this as well. Okay, and all of that goes inside the. Oh no, Into this little this one. one here. Yes, so pack around your that. own disposable straw. What yep. a great idea. Yes. Now, what about? Yeah, that's Rue Supply. So as well, he, he's a local vendor. Uh, he produces right here in Vancouver. 90% uh, of the products that he uses to, to produce these pouches are recycled products. Okay. So again, no guilt around that aspect. So they're not waterproof completely. No, they're spill they're resistant. Feel, they feel very spill resistant. So if yes. the soup spills in your lunch, you're you can... You're going to be fine for a little bit, yes. Okay. <laughs> and then afterwards, if the spill does happen, you can just toss it, toss it in the washer and then use it again that's afterwards. That's a great idea. Okay, 10 yeah. years in, what are your hopes for the next 10 years Super of the Christmas? Market. Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest aspects for, for us was to really become part of the culture here in Vancouver, be embraced by the culture, and we've become such a big tradition for Vancouverites. So our key aspect is to continue to grow being part of the community, but one of the key aspects of traditional German Christmas markets is also the unique aspects and the unique vendors that you can find yeah. on the market. So we're planning on bringing more of those in. Okay, well, yes. what, what's your favorite thing to do at the Christmas market? Um, well, the food and beverage is an yes. important aspect at the Some market. melted cheese, maybe? <laughs> yes, Swiss raclette, the glue vine is yeah. an important one. We have 24 different, different food and beverage vendors. There's lots to explore. Poffages, Dutch mini pancakes. Beautiful. Gemütlich. Yes. Gemütlich. Really good. That's a, that's a great German word. Yes. Uh, and it describes which, the market very it well. It means coziness, yes, kind it of all-encompassing coziness. It does. And you bring that. Yes. I wish you very happy holidays. Thank you very much. You as well. <laughs>